Hi, this is Teacher Fikri and today I'm going to show you on how to play with feather. So let's go. You might be wondering on how to actually play with feather. So to make it easier for you, there are four steps that I want to introduce to you. So the first thing first is to get your feathers ready, which is of course, and then I want you to use it to tickle all at all parts of the skin, could be from here to here to here to here to here and here, and then afterwards play around the leaves. And then I want you to pay attention to the reaction given by your children. You might be wondering what are the benefits that my child could get from this playing feather. Which there are three benefits that I want to talk about. So the first thing first is to reduce tactile defensiveness because let's be honest that it kind of ticklish when you use feather. But there are some kids when exposed to uh, feather when uh, when it's applied on the skin, they could get extra reactive. That's why I say on the step four, pay attention to the reaction given. So with the extra reaction, we can consider it as a tactile defensiveness. Uh, could be extreme form of uh, negative emotion, fear of being ticklish and all that. So we want them to get used to it and say that it is normal uh, for this feather to be in in contact with your skin so it's okay it's okay it is safe and then the second one is uh, to elevate movement stress because feather equals to ticklish ticklish equals to better mood so <clears throat> what is the best thing when it comes to feather to elevate the mood especially for uh, children or infant when in stress we can help them to feel a little bit better at the very least with this feather and then last but not least is exposure to color because feather have can be having different types of color and from here also we want to expose them to the color so I'll tell them earlier so this is blue so this is red so this is green which is a good thing for them if they don't know the colors then they might not be able to label the color of what they have perceived throughout their life and when it comes to the Age appropriate, I would say six months and above would be very great for you to expose them to this type of play. So that's all from me. Thank you.